What's up guys, it's Donner, and in today's video I'll be showing you three more tweaks to achieve a dark mode theme. Now if you haven't seen my last video, it will be in the link in the description and also at the end of this video, so go ahead and check that out. For our first tweak, it's called Darkbot, and Darkbot is basically a dark mode for Tweetbox, and I do not have Tweetbox installed because it costs $4.99, so I'm going to go ahead and show you some screenshots, but this is pretty much how it looks like. It looks like you can also have custom colors, but this is pretty much how it looks like if you have a true dark mode for Tweetbox. Now I know the devs are slow on Tweetbox and they haven't implemented that yet, but Darkbot allows you to have that implemented towards your Tweetbox app. And that is Tweetbox, once again, the true dark mode in your app. For our second tweak, it's called Colorify, and it's basically a customizer for your app Spotify. Now, if you already know what we're going to do here, we're basically going to enable a true dark mode. So let's go take a look at some of the settings that this tweak provides. So we're going to Colorify here. You will see the bunch of tabs that we have that we can modify. Now, basically what I did is I selected the color black for every single one. So you can see here, our background color, our text color is actually black as well, or actually I have the white preset and you can select it to any other presets down here that you like. Or if you like a custom one, you can just select the little color picker and select your color. So the icon color button, we have it selected as light gray. You can have it set to white, but I have it at a light gray, it matches a lot better. For our status bar text color, we also have that selected as a light gray, so it can match as well. But that's pretty much it for this tweak. Now let's go take a look into our app, which is located over here. And as you can see here, we get our amazing dark mode right there. We open this up. Uh, this will still come out colorized to the album art, sadly. But the list pretty much is true dark mode. Search is also dark mode. Um, your library, I don't have one because I don't really use Spotify, but it will be dark mode as well. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this tweak called Colorify. And let's go on to our next and final tweak. For our last and final tweak, it is a paid one, but it is called Illuminator and it is well, well worth it. And this tweak basically gives us dark mode for our web pages and apps that use a built-in web browser. So if we open our Safari here, we have Google dark mode. Let me go look at myself up right here. And there you go, dark mode search results. Let's say you don't want to go on Google, you want to go into Yahoo, we go into Yahoo. And we have Yahoo dark mode as well. If you use a built-in web browser in a, another app, for example, I'm going to use Twitter, click on a link, voila, you have a dark mode as well. Now this tweak does provide a lot of features and we're going to go ahead and take a look at those features right now. So we go into settings and we go into the illuminator. The first option we have is the enable toggle. So go ahead and enable that. It will be disabled for you if you just installed it. The second option we have is called the inversion mode, which is like a smart invert, but better. This option is provided to us in case the default mode isn't working for some of our websites. A quick note is that this mode does use more resources, so you will lose some battery life. PNG images background color basically adds some color to PNG images. I recommend you leave this option off so everything looks slick and smooth. The next option we have is apply with Noctis which allows us to turn off and on the tweak if you use the Noctis toggle. At the bottom you have your enabled applications tab to select which app you want the Illuminator to affect. I have selected web browser apps and applications that use a built-in web browser. So if we go take a look at here, I have my Cydia because it works for Cydia. I have my Mail app because it works for Mail as well. When you open a Mail, you will have your background black. I have my Safari, of course, my Chrome. I have eBay. I have Facebook because it has a built-in web browser. Firefox, of course. Messenger. What else? Twitter and YouTube. Last two options are your blacklist domain URLs and your respring. Now the blacklist domain URLs, you won't be going in much just to remove websites, but to add them, uh, you're going to be using the double tap gesture, which also shows the rest of the features this tweak has. So let me go ahead and show you that right now. So to do this double tap gesture, you do not need to be in any specific app. It works for almost every single app. So I'm going to use Twitter for this demonstration. So I'm going to my Twitter app and go into a article right here. 
Now, let's say I wanted to blacklist this web page because it's not displaying properly. Uh, I will have to just double tap on the screen with two fingers and click on the blacklist URL. I'll show you a little bit how that works, but that's what I will push. The next feature this tweak has is a universal reader mode. This works with every, almost every single app. There are some exceptions in there, which you will read in the tweak description. And if we click on the reader mode, you do see we do get our nice reader mode right there. It's not the exact same as the Apple one, but it's better than nothing. If we want to exit out, we double tap once again the same way and exit out reader mode. The next feature this tweak provides is you get to view the original page. So let's say if you were on a web page and it wasn't displaying properly, you could view it the original way for that moment. And by that moment, I mean it will show the original way but if you refresh the page it will go back to the true dark mode the next feature it has is you can report the web page via this toggle which is nice for support you don't have to go anywhere else to report it just report it send the email and hopefully he gets something working for that website so let's go ahead and show you that blacklist url feature so if we click the blacklist url it's going to refresh and show us the original page now sadly we can't double tap the screen and remove it we will actually have to go into our settings and go into the illuminator down here and remove it manually so if i scroll down here you have to go into your blacklisted urls click edit delete done and that's pretty much how you remove it the next feature the illuminator has is it also has a cc toggle control so if we go into our settings and we go into our control center up here which is gonna be right here. You go into your customized controls. As you can see here, I have it activated and at the bottom, the illuminator. Now, the way this works is, let's say I wanna turn it off. So I will have to have the application closed first of all, which I think I do. So I'm gonna open Safari. And as you can see here, it is turned off. Now, if I want to enable it, I just simply set the toggle. But like I said, you have to have your application closed. So let me close that out, relaunch it. And it's crashing a little bit. Whoops. Looks like it crashed. Let me try it once again. And there you go. So now we have our true dark mode for our website right here. Now this is a, looks like it's an image if I'm correct. So that's why it's white. But if we go into Google, we still have that true dark mode right there for you. Let's go ahead and hit a quick research. And voila, there you go, nice and active. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I uh, hope you like these three new dark mode tweaks and hopefully it helps you get your nice dark mode theme going. So if you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, you already know what to do. And if you'd like to see more of my jailbreak tweak videos, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.